Hi, I'm Luke Penrod, documentation writer for Novell Filer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process for installing a large Filer 1.1 system. When using this video to help you install your Filer system, we recommend that you also view the Creating a Large Deployment section in the Filer installation guide. This section contains more detailed information about the installation process. For a large deployment, you need to install a search index appliance to our recommended for fault tolerance, a MySQL database appliance, or configure Filer to be used with an existing MySQL or Microsoft SQL database, and one or more Filer appliances. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to perform the following steps for each appliance. Download and extract the software, deploy the OVF template, configure the virtual environment, including how to configure a separate hard disk for the data storage location and for the system log information, and how to add an additional network interface controller. Power on each appliance and run the installation wizard. First, I'm going to show you how to download and extract the new Filer software. Download the new Filer software to your management workstation, then extract the file. In a large installation, repeat this process for the database and search index software. Now we'll deploy the OVF template for each appliance. In the vSphere client, click File, then click Deploy OVF Template. Next, browse to and select the OVF file from the folder that you just extracted. Click through the wizard and accept the defaults. In the Name field, rename the file or appliance to a name of your choosing. Continue through the wizard. After the appliance is successfully deployed, repeat this process of deploying the OVF template for the database and search index appliances. After the OVF templates have been deployed, you need to configure the virtual environment for each appliance and go through the installation. As described in the Filer documentation, begin with a search index appliance. Create one VMware hard disk for storing configuration files and another for storing system log files. You can also create an additional network interface controller and increase memory allocation. In the vSphere client, right-click the virtual machine for your search index appliance, then click Edit Settings. On the Hardware tab, click Add. In the Device Type section, select Hard Disk. In the Disk section, select Create a New Virtual Disk. In the Disk Provisioning section, select Thick Provision Eager Zeroed. For the Disk File Path, browse to and select the Data Store or Data Store Cluster. In the Virtual Device Node section, select SCSI 1.0. In the Mode section, select Independent and keep Persistent selected. Review your selections, then click Finish. Now, in the same way just described, create another VMware hard disk for storing system log files. This time, in the Virtual Device Node section, select SCSI 2.0, and leave the Mode section unselected. If you have multiple networks associated with the Filer installation, you can configure an additional network interface controller to be used with your Filer installation. For example, if your search index and database are on a separate network from the main Filer appliance, you can configure an additional network interface controller for the second network. You do this by clicking Add on the Hardware tab, then adding an Ethernet adapter. In the Network Label field, you select your second network from the drop-down list. Next, you can change the amount of memory that VMware allocates for the appliance. In the Virtual Machine Properties window, select Memory, then increase the setting to a suitable size for your environment and click OK. The default for the search index is 8, the default for the database is 4, and the default for the filer appliance is 8. Now that you've configured the virtual environment, you're ready to power on the appliance. Power it on and click the console tab. Accept the license agreement and specify the passwords for the root and VA admin users. Change any other settings to match your environment. Specify the network information for your environment. 
If you configured multiple network interface cards, you see the option to configure the additional network card. For convenience, I'm going to configure this card with the DHCP. The second hard disk is automatically detected, and SDB is displayed as the hard drive, except the defaults. If you haven't assigned a second hard disk for the data storage location, you need to power off the virtual machine and modify the virtual machine settings to create the disk. The third hard disk is also detected automatically, and SDC is displayed as the hard drive, except the defaults. If you haven't assigned a third hard disk for system log files, you need to power off the virtual machine and then modify the virtual machine settings to create the disk. After the installation completes, you're ready to log into the Search Index appliance and create a password for the Search Index. From a browser, access the appliance. Log into the appliance as the VA admin user with the password that you set during installation. Click the Filer Search Appliance configuration icon, select New, then create a password for the Lucene service. Click Finish to complete the Filer Search Index Appliance configuration. Now that the Lucene Search Index Appliance is configured and running, you need to configure the virtual environment and installation for the MySQL database appliance and then for the Filer appliance. Go through the same process for these two appliances as you did for the Search Index appliance. Remember that virtual environment configuration consists of creating a hard disk for data storage, creating a hard disk for system log information, adding an additional network interface controller, and increasing memory allocation for each appliance if required by your environment. It is important that you power on the Filer appliance last after powering on any search index and database appliances. When your MySQL appliance and Filer appliance are running, you're ready to access your Filer appliance at port 9443 to complete the configuration. For the purposes of this demo, we'll assume that I have already powered on and configured the search index and database appliances, and that I am now ready to power on and configure the Filer appliance. After logging into the Filer appliance, click the Filer Appliance Configuration icon to run the configuration wizard. Select a large deployment. Specify the hostname and password for the MySQL database. Specify the hostname and password for the Search Index appliance. Then specify the locale. Now the Filer system is up and running. You can now log into the Filer system as the Filer Administrator at port 8443. This concludes the demonstration about how to install a large Filer 1.1 system. For more detailed information about the installation process, see Creating a Large Deployment in the Filer Installation Configuration Guide at novell.com documentation.